Elm are the Wicked Weed Detectives, and I'm on the case of Wicked Weed in Western Queensland. These wicked weeds are disastrous to have on your property because they are sometimes poisonous and they take over so useful plants can't grow. These are all declared plants in Queensland. A declared plant is a plant that has been introduced into Australia. I call them wicked weeds because they should be controlled. Okay, let's find these criminals. Now where are they? with huge spiky burrs. Thorn apples are very poisonous to livestock, livestock such as sheep and cattle, as well as humans. As you can see, the fruit is, looks like balls with green, brown needles on the end. The flowers are white and small. They are trumpet shaped when fully open. The seeds are four to five millimetres, millimetres long and are either black or grey. The branches are forked and green and purplish 
towards the base. The leaves are on a long slender stalk and they have an unpleasant smell when crushed. As you can see, this plant is dead because of the coming of winter. But during spring, the seeds will spread and grow more thorn apple. Disaster! And now, for my last wicked weed, the Baptist burr. Since I can't see it, I'll try and feel for it. Because I've heard that the Baptist burr is really prickly. Now, where would it be? Ow! The Baptist burr also has yellowish flowers. Well, because it's winter, this one doesn't at the moment, but in spring it will. Bathurst burr grows to 60 centimetres tall. As you can see, the burrs have long stalks. This burr can be spread by flood water or sticking to passing sheep. Overgrazing can make the Bathurst burr spread. And now I, Will Mother Wicked Weed Detective, am off to my secret lab to find out how to stop these out of control pests. There are three ways that wicked weeds affect the landscape. They're bad for the environment because they spread and take over from the native plants. They can be poisonous to livestock and humans. They are also bad for the economy because if the weeds are to were to spread, the land managers might not be able to keep any many sheep or cattle so they might not make so much money. It also costs money to control the weeds. When controlling these weeds, there are a number of things you can do. To start with, you could spray the plants with herbicide, but it needs to be done at the right time of the year with the right spray. Stick raking can be used to get rid of the plants by ripping them out of the soil, but after doing that, you'll have to spray because the seeds will pop up and more plants will grow. Secondly, using fire will help. The fires will kill the young plants, but the big plants will usually survive. The best method for the environment is using biological control, such as the Parkinsonia beetle. The beetle will eat the plant and then the larvae will destroy the seeds. Another biological control for Nagura burr is rust, which doesn't hurt other plants. Another method of controlling weeds is pulling or digging them out of the ground when they are young. 